All right, what's going on, guys? So, again, this is going to be a pretty boy and pretty girl decoy video. You're probably getting sick of it, but I figure, hey, I got some things I got to do for the season. Might as well get a video in while doing it. So, anyways, as you can tell from the previous video on the pretty girl, there was some not really damage, but the neck of the pretty girl got caved in during shipping and her head was right up against the body so for whatever reason I didn't think about it but a viewer had made the comment to take a hair dryer and keep the heat on the body and push it out now I think that will end up solving my problem and fixing the little bulge that's in the back of the neck now is it going to be a permanent fix who knows um, during Carrying it out into the field and having it inside the pretty boy, it'll probably go right back into the same position because it's kind of a weak point in the material, but it still works. It'll still get the job done. Now, as far as for the video that I did for Hunt the Farm, when I said that his was the new generation and mine was the old from last year, and the hole right here that you can see is for the detachable beard. Well, I found the beard and that's what it looks like. And we even put some uh, wrapping around up here because some of the hair was falling out of it. So if I set this camera here oop, like so, it's going to kind of give a look like so. Now obviously I gotta figure out some way to hold it on the body and the inside. I might even just tape it because even the hole is a little bit too small for the beard to go in even before we'd wrapped it. Or actually I might be able to do this on video right now. If I did that would be pretty sweet. So look at this, we're gonna learn something together. Something doesn't fit in the hole, you push it in until it does. Nope. And I broke it. So, back to the drawing board with that. I'm glad that we had wrapped it, or else this would just be a pile of hair. So with me breaking the beard for my decoy now, um, we'll move on to a completely unturkey related subject. Since everybody has their own little uh, knife videos. That actually kind of pisses me off a little bit. Eh, what are you going to do? But anyway, the knife that I like to take with me um, when I'm out in the woods or when I go camping is this little two set right here. And I really like it. It's uh, made from Master Cutlery. And this is a solid tang knife with the wooden handles on both sides. It has the uh, grip on the back of the blade to give you more control. And it's also got it down here in the back. Really nice. Fits in the hand well. Well balanced. It's a uh, 4 forwardly stainless and it's got the gut hook up there at the end. I actually take this with me when I do some fragging too. They'll make easy work of your frags, if you're into that sort of thing. And then um, the second knife is a folder that sits on in the front of the sheath. And the one thing I like about this, even though I'm not left-handed, it's got the assist open bars on both right and left side of the blade. And this opens up fairly easy. And it's got, again, solid body with the locker right there in the front. And it does not slip. And again, just like the full tang fixed blade, it's got your uh, little slats back there for your thumb to give more control over the blade. Um, pretty much, you know, multi purpose blade. Um, nothing really too special. It's got the little finger grooves that are built right in, fits in the hand nicely. And this also is in 440 stainless. 
So it's not too bad of a combo. I like taking them with me when I'm out camping. You never know what you're going to run into when you need one. So anyways, with my broken beard, my tipped over tom, and my broken neck pretty girl, <laughs> it should make for an interesting night. So hopefully I can fix that error of me trying to pull on the damn thing and breaking it. And uh, get it rigged up. Kind of disappointing. But anyway, hope you all enjoy. Here's my knives. As always, be safe and have fun.